What's up, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Wherever you have Scorpio in your placements, to my returning OG, what the fuck is up? To my newly subscribed, hello, hey y'all. Thank you for allowing this channel to continue to grow. To my members only, what the fuck is popping? You guys rock. I mean, just period. To Angus, welcome to the members only community, honey. We are so glad to have you there, okay? Um, you guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to become a member. A member only. A part of that community. Um, what else? To let those ads play for 30 seconds. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Grab your, um, your drink, your blunt, your wine, your water, your black and mild, whatever it takes for you to get your energy up, to get you tapped in with me. And let's get started, Scorpio. I hope all is well with you guys this Sunday evening. I hope all I hope you guys um enjoyed the old school Sunday as well. I enjoyed myself. It was nice. I came back on live but I missed the people again, so I don't know what's going on. Y'all just email me or get in touch with me or whatever. That's all you gotta do. All right, Scorpio. Y'all know I got your protection of white light going. Okay, so I'm saying not this day. Go with this one, Scorpio. It's been in a bag with a um amurite crystal. A protection crystal, I think it is. Spirit guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. What's going on with their person? This person not eager to talk, Scorpio. You could have blocked this person. They could have blocked you. Somebody's very stubborn, stuck in their ways. They don't want to lose. You make them nervous when it comes to love, Scorpio. Too many. Your person feel like, they feel like you they soulmate, but they don't feel like you want to settle down. Or this person feels like they're not ready for it. Speak soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. Though. Definitely. I got in the moment I sat down. I was drawn to those cards. Deliver me from temptation. Wow. Shame on me. I put others before you soon after I realized they were of no value to me. Allow me to work on me so I can work on us. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I just get, I, I get the feeling that this person just... Like, they don't want to admit they was wrong. They want to do everything in private. They want to regroup and come back all ready together, okay? But I feel like it's a long road back to deliver me from temptation. This person, this person could be around somebody that's evil. When I read that, deliver me from temptation and, and evil. I feel like that should have been on that card. I'm just reading that intuitively. And then it says, you just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days I don't even understand. This could be a third party situation. Scorpio. I'm getting that heavy. 
We both changed a great deal. I fear you moved on from me. Overall energy. I wasn't ready for what you was offering. Okay. All right, let's get into the Tarot Scorpio. Deliver me from evil. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's what I'm seeing. Like, evil should have been on this card for some reason. They could be dealing with somebody that's evil, a karmic that's evil, somebody that's holding them back, somebody that's playing mind games, somebody faking a pregnancy and a miscarriage all at the same fucking time. What's this deliver me from temptation and evil for Scorpio? It's your first card out. It's like this person is almost begging for an escape. It's like this person's soul calling out to you. This this deck is called um, Soulmates and Separation. So you guys are not together at this time. But you're beginning to feel this person a lot, Scorpio. This could be another Scorpio. I feel like this person going through a lot right now. This period. I feel like a lot of it got to do with this person not being able to be with you for whatever reason this is. Why is this delivering me from temptation here for Scorpio? I feel like somebody telling half truths. It's like the cards keep showing, showing themselves to me, but jumping back down like, no, nah, not this one. Yeah, there's the fool card. They found that came out. The ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. The fool, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Somebody, somebody's a gold digger here. Something definitely ended with the ten of swords. Somebody's trying to break free of something. Somebody is madly in love with you, Scorpio, just period. They 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 want out of whatever this is they're in, yeah. The nine of swords that keeps them up at night thinking about you. The ten of swords and the five of swords in reverse, it's definitely been over with in their mind. Whatever this situation they, they're they in currently, if they're married, if they're with somebody who keeps faking pregnancies, I keep hearing. This person could even be doing a little spell work. That queen... Queen of Pentacles in reverse kind of give me that uh, kind of give me gold digger energy, okay? I see a lot of confusion around this person too. Like it's almost like this person don't know which way to go. Yeah, I just saw the three of swords in reverse. This person don't want to let nobody down. Or something like that. This karmic they with too, she's very cunning, very manipulative. Why is it shame on me? I put others before you soon after I realized they were they were of no value. Yeah. The nine of wands. And the star reverse. So this person, this person, um This person wanna come towards you. They want a passionate start over, a do over I just heard. With the star reverse, they want a do over. They feel like this time they can make it work. But this karma keep playing games. This karma keep faking pregnancy or she knows something on this person or there's something weird about their relationship. The Ten of Cups in reverse is not traditional love. It could be sexual with that Ace of Wands being there, but they're not happy emotionally. But she, I mean, it's almost like she she don't want nobody else to have him, though. Especially you, Scorpio. Yeah, the King of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Cups. What's this other card? Yeah, the page of cups and the five of cups. Somebody is very like they they they're really very remorseful. 
that they left you for this person. They have not been happy since. It's, it's definitely been over in their mind a long time ago. It's just something about their feet not being able to move. Um, like their heart has, okay? Allow me to work on me so I can work on us. The emperor in reverse. Amen. The lovers in reverse. The sun in reverse. The two of cups in reverse. God dang. That's clarifying that allowed me to work on me so I can work on us. So this person absolutely had no intentions or even didn't even feel as though they were, you know, capable of making you happy, Scorpio. Capable of, of having that traditional relationship that you want. You know, a man home every night, helping you with dinner, paying, helping you pay bills, shit like that. This person, this person, yeah, the strength card. This person wasn't prepared to do any of that when you met them. And then I feel like I'm getting the energy of like this person left you for this person, but now they realizing yeah the six of cups. They could have had a child with this person, or this person keeps um this person keeps lying and saying they're pregnant. I get that strong. Yeah, page of pentacles. She's doing that to keep this person. Cause I don't feel like this person will leave, yeah, but this this person really like the um four swords in reverse, the nine of um swords, and the chariot, and the seven of swords in reverse. This person, everything they try though, this person, your person miserable, okay? This four of cups in reverse to me is just it's it's another form of like deception to me. This person want to leave, but they can't go because something holding them back. It's this four of cups. This person lying, saying that they're pregnant. The seven of swords in reverse and the six of swords in reverse. But this person continuously lying to this person to keep them there so they can't go anywhere. The six of swords in reverse. The seven of swords in reverse. But it seems like this person keep playing the same fucking stupid game. Your person, what, they ain't catching on or what? I don't know what the fuck this is. The Nine of Pentacles is here, though. We're clarifying you just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days, I don't even understand. Okay, we got the King of Wands, the hang Hangman in Reverse, Justice. The Eight of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person could have been locked up for a period of time as well. And just getting out of jail. Trying to rebuild their life enough to come towards you, I'm hearing. But this other person too, they doing some kind of dumb ass shit that's keeping them, keeping them like in their bed and keeping them where they can continue to tell that lie that they're pregnant with the strength card. I just saw the death card. We both changed a great deal. I fear you moved on from me. What is that about, Source? Clarify that for Scorpio. Yeah, the King of Cups. We both changed a great deal. Yeah, I feel I'm feeling more like this person um was locked up. The strength card and the seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person was locked up. The king of cups in reverse, the strength card, the seven of cups in reverse. This person went to jail. Yeah, the moon card, the devil card. Somebody set this person up. The knight of pentacles. Somebody set them up. Somebody they deemed a friend or whoever this karmic is. I 
I feel like like she the one set the shit up. The magician, yeah, she could be doing magic. I feel like she set him up to go to jail, go to prison, and like that whole while he was in prison, I feel like this person was taking care of him, this Carmen. And she felt like, you know, that'll keep him on her leash. And then once he got out, he wanted to find Scorpio. But then now she playing this pre um, pregnant game. I don't even believe she can get pregnant. Yeah, she can't get pregnant. The world in reverse. Everything is fine. The Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Whoever this person is, they can't hold the baby. Past three or four months. Maybe the first trimester with that world in reverse. That's what I'm getting. The first trimester. The baby dies. Ended. Happens quick. The two of wands in reverse. Then on the planet, the next fucked up thing to try to keep this person. Alright, what's the advice for Scorpio Source? Then we're going to move into this hustle day. We're going to see who hustling in this bitch. Somebody hustling. Get into that hustle big. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Cups. Somebody, somebody work not going to work. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This person no longer wants to be a part of this person's life. They don't want to build anything with them. The Knight of Cups, they want to come towards you and offer... You know, an apology, a heartfelt apology. You know, this person might even be offering marriage. This person wants to just, like, pick up right where y'all left off, okay? But this person, magic not working to keep them there with them building. And that three of pentacles, too, is giving me, in reverse, is giving me this person continuously lying. And the baby gone by the third month, the first trimester, first trimester, three. The number three could be significant. Yeah, the eight of cups. Your person walk away from this person. This period towards Scorpio. Whatever he got to do to get it together. I feel like this person went to prison though. I was in jail. Longer than they thought they were going to be. Let's get into this hustle deck, Scorpio. And see what's going on with our money. With our business affairs. Tell me what I need to see for Scorpio and their business affairs. Scorpio and their business affairs. Alright. So the overall energy says sign that damn contract. So, um, if there's a decision or something you were trying to make, Scorpio, about a property or, um, about a vehicle I'm getting, I'm hearing source say it's a go, everything is going to go, you know, as planned. All you got to do now is sign the contract. I feel like you'll be getting this news real soon. It says law of attraction, manifesting. So this is something you manifested, Scorpio. Your manifesting skills are, are continuously building. Okay? Your manifesting muscles are continuing to build. Shopping spree. Treat yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're doing something that's very, very lucrative. Like a lot of people want to see it. A lot of people want to hear it. Um, a lot of people want to use it, I'm hearing. Okay? You could even be doing something in the beauty profession, like makeup or facials or something like that, I'm getting. Or like start an online business about facial care or something like that, skin care. Leadership, not meant to take orders from no one. Yeah, you a ball, Scorpio. You already fucking know that. That's just period. And then you have the caution card, won't end well. Keep hustling, don't give up. That's our mantra shit. 
Just be careful out there, Scorpio, because I feel like a lot of people hating on you, a lot of people jealous. Move in silence. Don't let people know what you're doing with your finances or your business endeavors, okay? Workaholic, loving what you're doing. So somebody has started their own business. They love what they're doing. The money is coming in, okay? You're manifesting um, patronage. You know, you own it. It's a pay off debts old and paying off financial karma. So you're paying a lot of things off. You're able to pay things off spiritually, okay, and monetarily. So it sounds like to me, Scorpio, you're getting all the things that you work for, okay, that you deserve. You're paying off debt, just period. Karmic, financial karmic debt. And this debt's old. A lot of people can't say they're paying off their debt. They don't have the money to pay it off. They're running from debt. From debt. And here you are paying it off, Scorpio, just period. We have networker. So like I said, there's a lot of people interested in whatever this business is you're doing. You're a crafter. It's very, it's very interesting. Something you've mastered. Something that's... I don't want to say weird, but it's something like that that's catching a lot of people's eye that they have not seen. Something unique, okay? A gift, absolutely. So you're beginning to open up and share your gifts with people, Scorpio, and it's making you a lot of money, okay? Yeah, celebration. Okay, some, some of you guys could be celebrating the anniversary of a business that you started last year, two years ago, I'm hearing. That you didn't think would prosper like it did, but it did. We have life purpose here. This was destiny. It was purpose. It was meant. Money manager. I feel like you're very good with managing money now. Peacemaker. Yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, you're at a place now where you are at peace, Scorpio. You got your finances together. For the Scorpios who want to be coupled up, they're coupled up. For the ones that want to be single and have a peace of mind, that's that's the truth they live in right now. They they just on their path. They on y'all on y'all shit, Scorpio. Growing up, yeah, y'all just we people growing up. We moving forward, just period in our lives. We see we see how much better it is to be productive and move forward than be jealous and envious of somebody. That ain't Scorpio. Yeah, options, Scorpio. Whatever this is doing is gonna put you in a place of you being where you where you never thought you'd be. Okay, where you you're you're actually pulling resources from places that you never even knew you could unexpected. I can't make this shit up. You got fear in reverse. You're not fearing anything right now. You're seeing the fruits of it, the gifts, you're celebrating. You know you're on the right path, Scorpio, just period. So your finances looking good. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, this is your anniversary. Y'all stepped out on faith a couple of years ago with this business. And I feel like now you're beginning to see the fruits of it, okay? A lot of people didn't didn't even know you were doing it. I, heard, I hear you moved in silence, okay? You kept everything to yourself. You did everything yourself. You're a mastermind, Scorpio. Just period. You grew up. I keep hearing that. You're, you're in all of the right places where the right people are to help you along your journey to a networker. That's That was your first energy out, networker, craft. Whatever this mastery is, it's getting you, to, you in the room with people who you wouldn't normally be in the room with. That's what I just heard. It's putting you places that a person like you starting out where you starting out wouldn't even normally be there. But it's so damn good, whatever this is. People want to invest in you, Scorpio, just period. I'm hearing color purple. This seems this seems to me like something big, something huge. I feel like you start off doing something just because you love to do it, and it just end up just like like exploding, like fucking taking straight off to the roof, like to the point where money manager got to be here because you've learned through this process how to manage your money, Scorpio. Now God can trust you with it, and here it come. It's a gift from, from source. It's your life purpose. It's divine timing. It's because you're sharing your gifts. I keep hearing this. It's opening your gifts or opening doors for you, okay? They're putting you in places you, you wouldn't ordinarily be, around people you wouldn't ordinarily be around. 
you're hearing things and talking to people that's inspiring your intellectual side, okay? You're mastering whatever this is. You mastered it. It was just a hobby to you, though. Something you were good at to craft the card is here. Something you've done in your life has, has, has opened this door, though, for you. Somebody you know, a friend or something, was able to, like, put you around different people where, they, where where you were able to like promote whatever this is to echelon people like upscale people or this is what's about to happen people are celebrating you Scorpio they're celebrating this business they're bringing the money to you okay this is unexpected wealth I'm hearing Sign the damn contract. I feel like it's a lot of contracts coming towards you. I just heard building something from the ground up, okay? The two of wands, the eight of cups, and the six of pentacles. Somebody is building a house from the ground up or building their career from the ground up or building their business back from the ground up. Let's get an angel answer right quick and we're going to get out of here, Scorpio. This is beautiful, Scorpio. Finally, something happening good for Scorpio. Something unexpected. You keep moving in silence, Scorpio. Keep leveling up. It's level up time. I just heard that. Yeah, success. Your first energy out. It's time to level up. Success. Whatever this is, it's going to make you a lot of money and you love to do it. It ain't going to even seem like a fucking job. Yeah, it said it's up to you. It's up to you how much money you make. You can open two days a week. Or you can have a business that's on, on the internet that just never shut down. But you just got to make sure your supply and demand is kept up. Big happy changes coming out. Yeah. This destiny, I said it again. How much money you you make is gonna be um up to you. It said this situation will improve. That's on the bottom of the deck. Let's get you one of these African oracles, and then we are gonna get out of here. Big happy changes ahead, Scorpio. You could be moving, changing your residence, upgrading, you're leveling up. Okay, you could even be um. You could even be getting a new building, a bigger building for your business because you're going to have to, okay? It says etheric cores and creativity. So I feel like whatever this is, this is something that, that's in your bloodline. For some of you guys, this could be... For some of you, this could be from um, people that have that have um, been spiritual workers or like you know mediums in another life. Okay, that's crossed over. I feel like these people are guiding you. And we have good juju. And then your overall energy says cosmic power. I know you can't see it. So creativity, ethnic, etheric chords, and good juju. Scorpio, you're on the right path. And cosmic power. Whatever, whatever this is you're doing, you have everything you need to do it. Source has fully equipped you um, with these open doors, with you being around people. That are going to do the rest. That These doors are divinely open. Okay. They've been waiting for a time like this. People are celebrating you and your craft. Okay. You're around all the right people in the right places. I keep hearing that. This really feels like millionaire energy to me. Because I know you're a hard fucking worker Scorpio. And if you're seeing where this shit jumping. 
If you working eight hours, you gonna go to sixteen. That's just period. That's your train of thought. You just boss the fuck up. You leveling up, just period. All right, Scorpio. If you still hit, if you still with me, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that join button. Become a part of the members only community. Welcome, Angus, to the members only community. I really appreciate you guys. Missy, y'all miss me on the live to do the um. The free card, the free reading, three card reading. So, get with me again, and I'll see what I need to do. I might have to do a little small video or something. I don't know. Or just send it to your membership. All right, guys, I love you. See you in the next video.